Now that the lockdown uh, regulations have been eased a little bit, um, I'm able to go fishing, um, which is great. Uh, most people have been, I think. Um, it's, the, the lake's been open for a couple of weeks now. Um, my lake's where I uh, was planning to fish most of the time. They're not open till middle of June. They've got um, not quite a traditional close season, but um, a similar sort of thing. They shut a little bit later, but they don't open till middle of June. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I'm I'm just off for a few hours doing what I really like doing, flows of fishing. Uh, it's a nice sunny day <clears throat> with a little bit of cloud about. It's hot. Uh, it's mild, it's quite close, uh, but good floating conditions. Um, it's a deep lake that I'm fishing, so I'm ho hopefully there won't be any spawning going on. Um, if not, there's another lake next door that I can fish. Um, but the one I'm going to go to, it's um, it going to give me a realistic chance of a bite within uh, a few hours. So let's get the car started and get down there. Well, it's taken a while, but I've uh, finally got the old one taken. Two of the mixers. So there's loads feeding, and it's certainly not strong enough for me to get a rod out yet. But um, yeah, now that heat of the sun's back behind a the cloud, they seem a little bit more willing to come out from the cover. I think there's quite a few fish in the bushes on the far side, but I think they're, they're pretty much stuck, you know, tucked up inside. Um, but there's your one just coming out and taking a couple of mixers on the the peripheries of the bushes and you know, one or two just a little bit further out into open water. So I'll keep tricking the feed, keep that going in and uh, see if we can get them feeding a bit more strongly. Well it really seems to be one of those days where I'm not really going to get the fish going. Um, I've been feeding mixes steadily for quite some time now and uh, although there's a few fish showing an interest. Um, it's not, it's not improving, um, and some days are just like that. It's, I know accepted wisdom says get the fish into a into a feeding frenzy first, and make get them competing for food before you even have a cast. And yeah, that's all well and good in situations where that's going to happen. But I could I could be putting mixers in all day here, and I'm not just not going to achieve that. Um, and that's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes you've got to make the most of the opportunity that's there. Um, where I would say that does pay off is on somewhere where you, you're looking to get you know numbers of fish and maybe have a multiple capture. If you if you cast in too early, then yeah, you'll you'll get one chance, one bite, and that'll be it. Um, whereas if you can really get them going, you can get away with repeated casts and you can get away with um, you know catching a few before before they uh, go on edge. Um, but like I say, some days just aren't like it, um, and today's one of those days. Sometimes you have to just try and catch one of those few that you can get feeding, or other times. Um, so you just have to make the most of an opportunity while it's there before something comes to ruin it, be that uh, other anglers, swans, ducks, seagulls, whatever it, whatever it might be, or, you know, or there's a change of the conditions uh, predicted. Um, and today certainly does look like one of those days. Um, being careful not to have too many casts, I'm trying to make sure that the ones that I do have count and that, and that I control the float properly for the whole way through as it drifts through the swim if the wind gets up a little bit I just won't have a cast rather than just risk it and have one more cast that's just going to put more on edge um, I'd rather just have have fewer you know just have a cast let the float go through um, and make sure I don't end up fly fishing you know, casting here there and everywhere at them because it, all that's going to do is just uh, put the few kg feeders that there are on edge and, uh, and spoil any chance that I've got Well, I've come back in uh, to the same swim that I finished up in yesterday. Um, I started on, a, on the adjacent lake and then ended up on here. Um, it failed miserably. I got a couple of fish interested, got, got them taking a few mixes, um, and didn't look like it was going to get any better than that. So before the girls came in, I cast out um, and that put them down. So it probably wasn't the best move. I cast out a little bit early. Um, but you know, each situation is different. Other times you can leave it and leave it and leave it and then wait until they're in a frenzy, the goals come in and ruin it all, so sometimes, sometimes you've got to take the opportunity while it's there, but anyway, it's looking a little bit better today, um, wind's a little bit stronger, so it's blown most of the surface scum down to my right, so there's nowhere near as much of, of that as there was, um, and it's moved around a little bit, so the wind's actually taking my mixers, which I can get uh, maybe two thirds over, halfway to two thirds over, it's drifting them over towards the far side, uh, now there's a nice tree canopy over the far side, loads of overhanging, 
bushes and trees. Well, I think there's quite a few fish under there. I've not seen them anywhere else on the lake, so I think I think there's quite a few down here. And I've actually had uh, one of them feed him. I've seen a couple of fish uh, closer in this side, um, and I've had one taking a few mixes, not not with any great enthusiasm, but uh, at least showing an interest. Um, since then, the gulls have come in, so I'll just wait till they give up. They've cleared up what was what was there. Um, I'll wait till they've gone. Then I'll start trickling them back in and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some feeding. Well, that didn't work out quite as it was meant to. Just lost the fish. That's it. Worked quite hard to get them going. Um, we've got a few fish feeding. Not loads, so they weren't in a frenzy or anything, but it, it got to the stage where I didn't think it was going to get any better. So I thought it was time to make a cast. Um, and I've had half a dozen casts, I suppose, now. Um, and on uh, each of the previous four or five, just something wasn't quite right, either the wind got up a little bit um, and just pulled the float through a little bit too quickly or quicker than the freebies. Um, there's two zones where they're taking, there's, there's a little bit not straight in front and a bit, another bit about 15-20 yards further down and uh, while the float's in front they're taking further to the right and then once the float's got down there where I can really control it well then they're taking in front but that's just, just float fishing for you, that's, that's just the way it goes, you're just just waiting for everything to align and get these little windows of opportunity and you know when everything's bang on and, and that's when you get your bite um, and one of those little windows did open up um, I was just halfway through making a cast and the wind just dropped completely um, the cast landed perfectly it's just inches away from the bush on the far side it was just absolutely spot on um, that bite written all over it and it's, the wind stayed down as well it didn't didn't get up and drag it out of place but it was only there for I don't know, three or four minutes um, before one came out of the bushes and they nailed the hook bait um, and I hooked it. I didn't let it take any line or anything like that. I just just held on, put, cupped my hand over the spool, kept the rod really, really bent over. Um, you know, I'm on floater kit, so I can't give it too much brief, but I did, you know, hit and hold. Um, and it's kited left um, and it's just, just got to the, to the branches. Um, I just saw the branches right on the outskirts of the bush just twitch. Um, and it's just cut me off just above the hook. 
So yeah, not best pleased about that. Um, I'll put some more mixers out, I've actually got a few more fish feeding now, so hopefully we'll get another chance. Well, that really is a little one. Um, Gabby the run around, just managed to keep this one out of the bushes. Uh, started fishing a little bit further back uh, after what happened. It still managed to snag me up in some weed. So uh, yeah, it might be small, but it's really nice to get one on the bank. First fish since, uh, since the lockdown. Nice, uh, after all that work, to uh, Catch one. Seems to matter less when I'm floating fishing, what I'm fishing for. Just, uh, just catching one seems to be enough to give me the buzz. Got perfect, in perfect colour. That's what I'm going to do today. Plenty of time to get another one as well. Catching that fish seems to have killed it right off. I think I've one more mixer taken after that. Um, I've tried a, another couple of swims further down. I've seen a couple, but I can't get anything going. So uh, that time I had a look around the big lake, see if I can find anything on there. Well, I found a group of fish milling about in the weed. They're pretty much sunbathing with their fins out, but they look like they might be up for a mixer. It's really shallow up here, really weedy. Um, now there's three swims that I could cast to them from, but they're sat right in the middle. Um, in front of a lovely little secluded swim. So I'm gonna make my way into there. It's just a bit of a mission to get there.
but that's it for the day off home now um that came reasonably close at the end there uh, float got nudged a few times and I had a few feeding on the mixers um sun's going down a little bit now so i don't think they're, they're going to carry on much longer they started to move out a little bit so um we'll call it a day now and have another go next week well, well i'm back for another day's fishing um i'm still doing days it's looking really nice today it's much cooler than it has been probably 10 degrees slower than it was last time out uh, much more pleasant to be in uh, and really good fishing conditions as well the pressure uh, down low air pressure um, got an overcast sky it's not raining but it's on the sort of on the edge of it and i found that's oh, absolutely perfect for uh, carp feeding conditions always done well when it's been like that and i'm always confident um, doesn't seem to be perfect for floater fishing though I've been putting mixers out for an hour and a half maybe two hours and none have been taken at all so um, I've abandoned that idea for the time being um, and I've adopted a more like a, a more stalking type approach I've been dropping some pellets in various and some chop baits as well and uh, various edge spots which I'll check on later um, but I did also notice that where I had been floater fishing there was quite a lot of bubbling going on and there were some ripples coming out from the bushes on the far side so I quickly, quickly set up the stalking rod with a, um, well, something I haven't done for a long time really, um, with a float ledger system. So I'm, I'm float fishing, I'm still looking at something orange on the top of the water. It's really nice. Um, it's just a, a running ounce and a half lead, a really simple bottom bait rig. Uh, and a waggler, which I've uh, attached with a bit of tubing rather than rather than not shot traditional you know putting it through the eye and shot each side because obviously that's not safe in the event of a crack off it's you know your float's going to act much like a lead would um you can easily snag up so uh, i want that to come off if anything untoward happened um and i've been oh, i probably had the bait out there 15 20 minutes and i've got one already so that's that's really good um float just slid away i just i didn't know if it was a bite or whether there's just a couple of fish caught the line you know milling around maybe one's caught the line or something like that but the line picked up as well so i'm not fishing too tight to the snags on the far side so i didn't have to be on it really quickly um and yeah, just, just caught myself a common. Not a particularly big one, but a lot bigger than the last one. So um, let's deal with him and now I'll, I'll get another bait back out there. Oh, a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Uh, bang on 20 pound. Caught on a float. I haven't done any float fishing for ages. I'm not supposed to catch them. Absolutely pristine. 